hi guys welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to be drafting nine types of trendy necklines so guys one of the rules you have to observe when cutting any neckline design is the fact that the width and the depth are indirectly proportional when the width is wide the length of the neckline should not be deep and same goes for the depth too when the uh, neckline depth is actually deep the wideness should be very minimal so having said that let's get started all right so we'll be using this existing pattern to actually draft out uh new patterns for the necklines all right so the first uh, neckline we'll be drafting is the sweetheart neckline and here i'll be using the width of four inches for the neckline so i'll mark that out and for the depth you can use seven seven and a half or eight in this case we'll be using uh seven and a half so i'll mark that out also and try to you know box it up to give us a guide so go ahead and um, link the points together like so all right so having done that the next thing to do is to uh, mark out about four and a half inches right from the top over there and um, connect it together like this having done that having marked the four and a half inches the next thing to do is to connect it together using your curve ruler like this just watch me so you place your curve ruler like this and connect that point to this point using your french curve or your curve ruler and um, the next thing for you to do is to cut it out like this so after cutting this is what you would have see how beautiful it looks so this is your sweetheart neckline so i'll just write that there sweetheart neckline all right so the next neckline is the one shoulder neckline and to do this you have to open your pattern like so and at one shoulder on one shoulder pardon me you have to uh, mark about four inches to three and a half inches note that this is the center of the pattern okay so at one shoulder it could be left it could be right so you are going to mark about uh, three and a half i'm going to be using about three and a half in this case so mark three and a half on one shoulder and go to the other shoulder and you come down by about four inches come down by four inches then the next thing to do is just to connect the dot together all right so go ahead and connect the points together to form your one shoulder neckline and uh, i'll go ahead and cut this uh unwanted part i'll cut it out now all right so this is how to cut the one shoulder neckline and i'll write one shoulder neckline on the pattern all right guys so the next neckline is the queen anne neckline and for this i'll be making use of a three inches uh width for the neckline and the depth of uh, seven inches and so the next thing you should do right now is to mark about four and a half inches down right from the top of the pattern over there mark about four and a half inches downward on this point you mark a straight line like so all right so the next thing i would do is to mark uh the same three inches i use for the depth uh for the width of the neckline i'll mark it on this point again the next thing i'll measure out what i have on the shoulder and um, use it to determine what should be here all right since i have four on the shoulder i'll just use half of that uh, and that is two so i'll just mark out two right from there and connect the point together like this so just watch me so i connected each point together go ahead and connect each point together like so and the next thing to do is to cut the um, excess out the unwanted part you cut it out and this is what it looks like after cutting this is uh, a queen and neck line see how beautiful it looks all right so the next neckline is the scallop 
neckline and i'll be using the width of four inches for this neckline you can go ahead and use about three three and a half but i'll be using four in this case and for the depth i'll be using um seven inches or seven and a half okay let me go for seven and a half i'll be using seven and a half for the depth of the um neckline so the next thing to do is just to uh box it up or make a square out of it to give us like a guide for it so i'll go ahead and connect the point together all right so the next thing to do is determine uh, how many scallop we want on this neckline here we'll be opting for three scallop so this is what i will do i will mark uh i will mark right from the top i'll mark two and a half inches at first then right from that two and a half inches i'll mark another two and a half inches just divide go ahead and divide whatever you have on the neckline into a uh, unit so i'll connect uh, the points that i've marked together like so next i'll come to this line and divide it by two whatever i have there i'll divide it by two and the next thing to do is to connect points together just watch me so from that end i'll connect it to this end and from that end i'll connect it to this end also so i'll go ahead and place my uh french cuff on this and connect it like so then next i'll connect this other point to the base of the neckline like so so go ahead and connect it like this so after drafting it you have something like this just go ahead and uh, cut it so i'll go ahead and cut it and this is what i have after cutting it uh this is how the scallops looks like all right so i'll just go ahead and write uh the scallop uh, neckline on the pattern all right so moving to the next neckline we'll be cutting a wrap neckline and to do this would open a pattern on fold like so and we'll go to the shoulder line and mark three and a half for the shoulder uh length for the shoulder line so i'll go ahead and mark three and a half inches like this and the next thing we have to determine is how deep we want the um, wrap to be so i'll go ahead and mark seven inches seven inches is actually the chest line so determine what chest line yours is and mark it out it would it will be the depth for the uh the wrap blouse so i'll go ahead and mark a straight line indicating the chest line or the depth for the wrap top or the wrap uh neckline in this case so i'll go ahead and write the chest line to indicate it and also i'll just connect it but before i do that i'll come to this uh other side here and mark two inches upward like this then the next thing to do is just to connect it and making sure that it passes through that line like so the center line like that so next thing to do is just connect it like this and um, connect it find a way to you know connect this uh point together like this however if you want it to show cleavage or you want uh, the neckline to be deeper uh, than this you can use more than seven inches you can come down by eight nine whatever you'd like but this is just the normal way to do it so this is the wrap neckline i'll go ahead and write uh, the name of the neckline here then uh, the next thing i'll do is cut out the excess so having done that we are going to be cutting two pieces of this one for the right and one for the left all right we'll be cutting the first asymmetric neckline and uh, for this i'll be using the width of 3.5 inches so i'll mark that out on this pattern there are actually two ways of cutting the asymmetric but this is the first one so i'll be marking uh 3.5 inch for the wideness and for the depth of it i'll be making use of six inches and next i will open the pattern up like this and what i'll do next is to measure the same three and a half inches we used for that shoulder 
we use we we'll, uh, mark out 3.5 inches for the other shoulder also and next thing to do is to mark the depth of the neckline remember we used uh, we marked out six inches so i'll just connect it like this so from that angle i'll connect the six inches like this then the next thing to do is just to connect from this point to this point to form your asymmetric neckline so you can just place your uh, straight ruler like this and you know connect it i'll be using my pencil here so i'll just connect it like this you can use your straight ruler to connect it like this but if you do not want it to be sharp you can use the curvy part of your um of your ruler of your pattern master or your french curve whatever you'd like to use so to just make it a little bit curvy so you can either use that or this other part so i'll go ahead and use my um my marker to highlight the point the line that i want on this uh, neckline okay so this is how it looks like so the next thing i'll do right now is just to cut the excess out but before that note that the shoulder is still the same the shoulder is not affected it's only the neckline that is asymmetric all right so i'll go ahead and um, cut it out now and show you how it looks like after cutting all right so this is uh what it looks like after cutting it out and i'll just go ahead and just uh, write the name of the neckline on the pattern asymmetric neckline all right so next i'll be cutting the second type of uh, the asymmetric neckline and to do this i would open uh, you need to open your pattern up like this and on one shoulder i'll be marking about uh, three and a half inches so go ahead and mark three and a half inches on one shoulder like this so this is what i did i marked uh three and a half inches here then i'll go to the other shoulder line and mark about two inches or two and a half okay so i used um th two and a half inches here i marked two and a half inch inches on this shoulder so the next thing to determine is uh the depth for the uh, neckline so for the neckline depth, we'll be using um, six inches for that. Then I would mark, um, I'll connect each point together like this. Just measure out six inches on this side also and connect it together on a straight line like this. Just to serve as um, a guide for you. So go to the other shoulder too and mark out six inches and connect it on a straight line just as you uh as you did on um the other shoulder so connect it like this to create a kind of square or a box for it all right so next you connect uh the neckline together so this is what you do you place your straight ruler from this end to that end and connect it together straight like this it's as simple as that so this is it so if you don't want it to be um as sharp as this you can give it a slight curve uh using your french curve or your pattern master like this so i'll just go ahead and give it a slight curve so i draft it out like this to just give it a slight curve all right okay so next thing to do is um i'll cut it out and show you how it looks like after cutting it all right so this is what it looks like after cutting it out and um, I'll just go ahead and write uh, the name of the neckline on the pattern paper and so that's it okay so this is the up close view of both the neckline we drafted this is the first one we drafted out and below it is the second asymmetric neckline for the first one it's just the neckline that is um asymmetrical the shoulder still remains the same but it's not so for the uh second one 
all right so the next neckline is the strapless neckline and the first thing you need to determine is the chest line and in this case it is seven inches so what i would do here is uh, mark a straight line on that seven inches uh which is for the chest line so go ahead and mark a straight line on the chest line All right, so having done that, the next thing uh, to do is to connect right from the center of the ham hole to the uh, straight line here. So what I will do is place my pattern master on the center of the ham hole and I'll connect it all the way down to uh, this uh, point. Then I'll cut it out and show you how it looks like after. okay so after cutting it out this is what it looks like you can make yours more curvy by going down by more than seven inches you can do eight or nine all right so i'll just write uh, the name of the neckline here strapless all right so we'll move to the next neckline the plunging v and i'll be using four inches for the width of the uh, neckline and for the depth of it i'll be using about 12 inches for this neckline it's a deep v neckline so i'll be using 12 inches and the next thing i'll do is to um, connect the points together using my straight ruler all right so i'll use my pen to trace uh, the lines together so this is how it looks like however if you do not want it to just be straight like this you can use uh your curve ruler or your pattern master whatever it is to kind of create a curve for it so that it's not just uh straight so this is what i do here i'll just trace um the neckline again using the curvy part of the ruler and you know i'll trace it all up just so that uh, we do not just have it on like straight like that all right having done that this is what you would have and i'll use my marker to actually highlight it so that you can see it boldly all right using the curvy part of the ruler i'll be using uh, my marker to highlight the neckline so this is what it looks like and next thing to do is to cut the excess and show you how it looks like so i'll just write before doing that i'll just write uh the name of the neckline here plunging v or deep v neck line okay guys so this is it after cutting out the excess this is what it looks like thank you so much guys for staying till the end if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe to this channel go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post new content thank you guys stay blessed bye